Yeah, any more commentary. Okay, this time I'm gonna show you how to make one of the more important items in the game. The, well, it's a box with water in it. <laughs> okay, later, much, much, much later in the game, they'll show you how to make the uh, aquarium item, but you can make it uh, right away, really. Well, you can invent it right away. You'll be able to make it as soon as we get into the next area, pretty much. And we can actually start picking up the uh, stuff we need for it. Twigs and uh, water element. Okay. We have both of the pictures we need already, except for all. We got two, the first two we need. The first two ideas. Now we just need this last one, the fountain. Now I'm gonna cruise around here and take what's left to take pictures of. I should have gone. I'm not gonna go in there this time. I'm or the other. I'm not gonna go in the bar, though you should. And I'm not gonna go in the station. You should do that too. We'll do that some other time. Let me uh, take pictures around the rest of Palm Brinks, like uh, the suburban area where I really actually lives. So no, you'll see that. Or maybe we can't go to the station. The station might be down the other path. I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty that or that's where the mayor's office is. It makes sense either way. Because the bar is here. I think the station's right here. Yeah, and City Hall is where the tent was. So yeah, City Hall is in the other direction. Where it's blocked up by like, one of the clown guys right now. Or no, it's blocked up by Fabio, one of the um, hobbit dwarf looking guys. Though he has another one of those. We'll see a lot of those guys in the next area. Okay, for now. We're gonna actually uh, make the aquarium. I'm moving these ideas here. Be careful not to delete my uh, picture of Linda. Well, I could because um, I have it in a scrapbook somewhere in one of my other two memory cards, but you probably shouldn't because, well, the idea's in there, and unless you don't do it, unless you, I think it'll be okay because you've marked in your book as having taken the picture, so you can go ahead and delete it if you want. And since it's one of the easiest ones in the game to get, even though it is a one uh, chance miss, there's never a reason to save it in your book if you already have the idea. But just in case, I'm gonna hang on to it. This for now. Okay, no, no. Go make new invention. Uh, we've got fountain that's right there. And now we need a window and a wooden box. Windows you can get just taking pictures outside, and there's some wooden boxes in and around. Well, I don't know if they're in such house, but around Citrus house. Okay, I haven't already got them. And we just took pictures of them. Da, 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 da. The sound was a little off here for some reason. Not when I recorded it, but like during the actual game for my television, so. But yeah, uh, you can't make any glass, rolling a log, and water on it. It's a very important item, it's helpful, you can keep your fish. Uh, fishing's a big feature in this game. It's necessary to get certain characters to come with you and you can in various, and it's very fun. Oh, uh, God. There's extra things there. There are competitions where you can um, see how who can catch the biggest fish. Of course, you can keep fish in your aquarium and you can make them bigger, but they, if your fish has been in an aquarium and fed, it or uh, been around when you were feeding them, it does not let you uh, enter them in the contest for that. You can, however, enter them in the racing competition, I believe. But that's not until... That, that part of the fishing contest is not until much later in the game. But, uh, since this was such a big part of the game, you can do it outside of the game, too, as one of the extra features in the menu. Kind of like back in Steam Ball when you could play billiards, or, um, you could, uh, battle outside the game in the arenas with all your trot mobile. I guess maybe you can do two-player on that, I'm not sure. After I finish this area, and before, when we start the next one, I actually get that taken off, and the area gets open, I'll come back to this one, and I'll go over all the scoops from the sewers since I haven't taken any of them outside the one-time misses, like, wound up. And there'll be there's one other uh, one-time shot to get. It uh, I had a lot of trouble with confessing. I, well, I don't know. It just wasn't my day. I missed the first chance I got them the first time, and then I just like, kept going, and you never did it. So I had to start over from the beginning of the boss fight, and then I messed up again. The boss fight is not hard, as you will see, but you might take you. Uh, Two shots, you know, I have to knock out twice by next year once. And paying no attention to that skip there, I was trying to get a scoop and then that's here and I couldn't do it and that's when I decided I just kept missing it. Because he was being fickle. Uh, I decided that I was shooting you know, go ahead and just do a video for all the scoops in the sewer that I can do. Now this one's already to build up. There's no reason to do the true battle wrench other than for free attack points, and you can do the drill wrench, because if you upgrade the true battle wrenches, I'll show you in a bit. Uh, the other thing right there is going to be the drill wrench, which we'll upgrade to right after we make the true battle wrench. I'll show what it looks like. Here we go. The true battle wrench. It's basically got like, little stud things on the end of it that you could write it for smashing instead of the wrench head. And show you what it looks like. There it is. Okay, now 
We just need some smash and some beasts. Okay. Smash crystals, you smash you get from destruction crystals. I have what, two right there. You can get it you can you want to use the crystals for uh synthesis point. Uh okay. To get uh stuff for your synthesis. Now look here in the corner where it says synthesis points thirteen at the bottom. When you level up you get points, uh, to synthesize stuff to it and make the weapon stronger. Of course when you does level up it occasionally it gets attack power and I think durability. So on occasion and some other things as well, depending on what weapon it is, but Usually you have to do most of the enhancing you to uh, have it upgraded to a new form yourself. Then don't squander your synthesis points, don't just go crazy. You should try and build it up to a better form. Now this one, is, the wrench, of course I have way more points for the wrench because I've been doing a lot. I think it's probably got three or four levels on my gun, but you know, we'll see. So yeah. Anyways, like I was saying earlier, you can synthesize things besides crystals, but they're usually, other than the gems, like the diamonds or rubies and stuff, and garnets, uh, they only give you like two points on a lot of stuff instead of three, and sometimes they only give you one. And you can even break down other weapons in a synthesis uh, stuff, but usually it only takes one stat away, and it's usually not a very good uh, thing. It only give you, it might give you a lot to one category, it might give you like one. It has to be much better than what we have now. Pretty new. Much good at all. And I think I might just do I need one more crystal. Nope. But that means it's ready to build up into at least one of its possible pathway forms. Because you saw there are multiple paths, but it was going to be this weapon here, the drill wrench. Which you might hang on to for a while, you might upgrade straight to the uh, stinger wrench, or the smash wrench, you can reach what's next. Before you even leave this area if you're really into this and enjoy it a lot. It's pretty awesome. Many game five stayed here and upgraded it to the uh, stinger wrench right away. And if you know what to do, and it. Like, if you know, like, if you look online or have the guidebook like I did, you could look ahead and see what points you needed and stuff, and, you know, you uh, just go, like, plan so far ahead for what you have. So you didn't have any of the uh, destruction crystals, you can plan ahead for the other one and see what you needed. And make sure you didn't do too much or too little, and just keep going, and, you know, the attack power upgrade itself, so that's one of the last things you want to do. And the attack crystals, I think, do only give two points of attack, but, like, it's hard to get any attack, uh, the, any sort of synthesis and you get attack points at all, really. But you'll be able to buy them eventually, but they cost like a thousand, I think. It's not that far away, though. For buying, it's maybe a third of the way through the game. Yeah. I haven't, like, been poisoned once, well, maybe one time in this run through. In my practice run, I was doing to get myself back into the game, I got poisoned like five or six times, and of course, they only give you two antidotes back at the beginning, so you stuff was up right away. That's not my fears. Okay. Okay, I figured I, since it's just a lot of birth battle, I figured I'd check out the gun. And since it's, it's uh, blah blah blah, yeah, I had to say that. Uh, psych most guns will need Cyclone at some point, but yeah. Uh, attack, I'm just going to let it keep going until it levels up on its own. That way I can conserve synthesis points and it'll get attack power on its own. And it'll just be easier to upgrade that way. But yeah. For the record, when you have things like uh, guns and weapons, they uh, they will add elements to themselves eventually when you have a lot. But whatever is the most, say, it's, even if it's a lightning based weapon, if it had like 20 more flame, or just like even one more flame, it should do uh, fire, more fire damage directly instead. And uh, that does affect how much damage you do to monsters. Like even if it's a high defense monster in the water area, like a sea turtle thing, uh, if you have a the, the stinger wrench uh, has a lot of lightning element to it, so I would just like smack them, and then they would they would do <laughs> they would get pushed around pretty easily by my lightning power. And hopefully you'll have more of those stingers by that point, though. I remember my first run through, it took me forever to upgrade that weapon, because 